To the southern border now, where Border Patrol agents and local authorities grapple with the migrant crisis as asylum seekers continue to cross into the United States despite legal obstacles. Governor Greg Abbott in the small border town of Eagle Pass right now, and this is a live look. He says he's there to assess current struggles, saying the surge of migra migrants could have doubled if the COVID border policy was lifted. News Nation's Robert Sherman joining us now from Eagle Pass, Texas. And Robert, the policy may still be in effect, but it doesn't seem to be deterring migrants. You're right. And the messaging that we've heard from local officials down here, Ruta Bay, is, is that they're relieved Title 42 is remaining in place, at least temporarily, until a more long-term solution can be identified. But you still have people coming, and the border is still far from secure. And that's why we see Governor Greg Abbott here today in Eagle Pass, Texas. This is a well-known crossing point for migrants coming in from Mexico just across the Rio Grande River here. And coming off of a record-breaking April where you had over 200 134,000 migrant encounters. You talk to the officials on the ground here. They're just hoping the numbers stay mostly where they are right now. And that's where the relief comes in is that those numbers could have more than doubled if Title 42 had expired. Still, people are still coming. And you talk to local officials such as the sheriff. He says they need more help. Listen to this. The community, they're still very nervous. You know, they, uh, they don't know if it's the bad guys or good guys. Now, right now, I just had a report that the Border Patrol doesn't have enough uh, detention facilities. So the ones that are going to be released, they're going to have to be released on the streets from the stations. You know, they won't be able to give them the, the transportation and anything like that. So really, pretty soon today, we're going to see even immigrants just walking all over the, uh, the city. So the releasing of migrants to make room in some of these facilities, that's nothing new. We have started to see that down here a little bit more. And there is a distinction to be made here, Ruta Bay. A lot of the people we see here in Eagle Pass, Texas, they swim across the river, give themselves up to law enforcement seeking asylum. But that's not the only image that you see on the border. We want to show you this new video that comes from Texas DPS. This is from the Big Bend region, a very treacherous region because of the desert and mountains. 32 migrants trying to elude law enforcement. You can see the view from a Texas DPS chopper. Those migrants clad in camouflage, eventually they were apprehended, but that is just such a dangerous, treacherous landscape in order to get through. So there's still a lot of question marks as to where the state of Texas is gonna be taking this issue here at the border, what policies are gonna be implemented. We'll be hearing that from the governor shortly. Ruta Bay. All right, Robert, thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.